Well, thanks a lot, Bob. So the Yankees lose the second in a row to Milwaukee. And you have to understand, the Milwaukee Brewers are desperate right now. They're trying to get into the wild card situation in the National League. And I'm not saying that the Yankees aren't desperate because they certainly want to close this out. But there's not that same desperate need to get a win. Right. And you look at the first two games, there's some missed opportunities, especially offensively. Uh, two for 11 last night in runners in scoring with runners in scoring position. Tonight, 0 for 8. So those are the opportunities. We keep talking about who's going to step up behind Judge. Stanton tonight, another rough night, struck out four. He was 0 for 4 last night. Uh, Donaldson's been a bright spot, but it's who are those guys going to step up and capitalize with those runners in scoring position going forward? You know, one of the great cliches is, you know, you, you got to give credit to the pitcher. Well, the Yankees have been shut down by some sketchy pitching over the last month or so, but not tonight. Woodruff had really good stuff. Well, he got into the eighth inning for the first time. He had 10 strikeouts, really established his fastball. His slider only made that one mistake to Donaldson and he was really dominant kept the Yankee hitters off balance all night very impressive I knew he was going to be tough going into tonight but I didn't know he was going to be that tough now one thing that the Brewers have done a lot of teams have not been able to do this they've kept Aaron Judge in the ballpark they haven't kept him off base but they've kept him in the ballpark and a lot of the Yankee offense over the last month and a half has been predicated on Aaron Judge hitting home runs so Donaldson's tried to pick up the slack a little bit but Stan has to get right as the Yankees go into the postseason well again runners in scoring position and you're going to get judge on base we talked about the nine hole hitter was Gonzalez tonight and then he got hurt got hit in the head by Carantini and then Hicks got on so it's important for the guys behind him to get on and also the ones in in front of him to get on Donaldson's done his job he's had some opportunities he had the two solo shots that's about it they haven't been men on base for him but it is up to Stanton it's up to Torres those guys are the ones that are going to get the opportunities with runners in scoring position that need to capitalize especially going Going forward, they need to wrap this thing up. I mean, fortunately, you see Tampa, they're going to play the Blue Jays. So both Tampa and the Rays have tough schedules going forward. It just seems like long days now until they do finally wrap up the East. Now, you do wonder, will Aaron Boone make a little bit of a change with the lineup? Because with Stanton hitting behind Judge, he doesn't have any protection whatsoever. So you have to really be careful with Judge because you don't think Stanton's going to hurt you. Maybe they drop Stanton down in the lineup and maybe move Donaldson to number two. Yeah, they could, or they could throw up uh, Torres in the two spot Donaldson third maybe hit Stanton in the fourth uh, you know your top three guys usually are getting that extra at bat throughout a game anyway so maybe you want to give Stanton a break and drop him down into maybe the fourth or fifth slot now we probably will see Rizzo right. tomorrow as well so he'll slide in there hopefully maybe mix in and break up those right handed hitters now the Yankees do send their best out to the mound tomorrow and that's Garrett Cole and Garrett Cole needs to salvage the final game of this three game set now the Yankees didn't use all that many relievers tonight so they said okay because Monday is an off day but you want to see a big time performance by Garrett Cole well you do and Cole's very familiar with the Brewers as well he has 13 starts career against the Brewers he's been in this division with the Pirates before he knows he has to be that stopper has to stop this two game losing streak and also you're facing a rookie on the other side and Alexander with the Brewers so it's going to be a little bit difficult time for him to navigate through this Yankee offense hopefully things can turn around for him huh? so the Yankees lose the first two games of this three game set tomorrow they try to take that third game and then enjoy the off day on Monday before starting a homestand at the stadium Bob.